What is up YouTube? My name is Mark Barton and this is Swamp and Stomp. And today I'm going to be taking a closer look at the Set Power portable fridge that I just picked up on Amazon. And this is a really cheap portable fridge that's kind of similar to the mighty and popular Dometic portable fridge. And it costs about a third of the price. So today we're going to be taking a closer look at it and seeing whether it can compete with that popular Dometic brand. And then we're going to plug it into a Jackery Explorer 500, which is a small portable battery used for camping, to see how long it can actually run this fridge and see how that compares to the Dometic. And before we move any further, I just want to bring up that if you like free stuff, I have just the thing for you. You can click this video right here to win a free Summit Viper SD tree stand. This is a $350 tree stand. It's a great stand. Me and Danny both use them and absolutely love them. And all you have to do to get into the raffle is go to that video and drop a comment and follow the rules to get two more entries into the raffle. And if like us, you like the outdoor life, make sure that you click that like button and click the little bell so you get notifications when we put out new content and make sure that you're subscribed to our channel. We really appreciate all the support that we can get and it really helps us out. Now let's get into the video. So I just wanted to do a quick unboxing video. Uh, this is a refrigerator cooler that I ordered uh, for my camper build. And you know, honestly, there's just not a lot of information or reviews about them. So I just wanted to let people know uh, what I thought of it and uh, what it comes with. So this is the Set Power. That's the brand. It's called Set Power. And as far as I can tell, it's like a Chinese brand. Um, okay, so Amazon put it in its in a separate box, and then there's the manufacturer's box. So, like I said, as far as I can tell, it's like a Chinese brand, and I'm usually not a huge fan of spending uh, large sums of money on these Chinese brands because they're usually not great quality. And to be completely honest, I don't expect that this one's going to be great quality. Um, but I'll tell you why I bought it. The reason I bought it is because I was able to find it on Amazon. If you find it on eBay, I wouldn't get it. And you can get a warranty through Amazon because the factory warranty, I think, is one year. But I was able to pay an extra 50 bucks on Amazon and get uh, another four or five years uh, of warranty on this thing. And that means that if this thing breaks, which I honestly expect it is going to, just because it's Chinese, uh, it won't matter because I'll get my money back. So that's the real reason that I bought it. So let me get this thing out. Okay. So there it is. So it actually looks pretty well built. Um, this, I will say this is a, a cheaper plastic than you would find on say like a Yeti cooler or an angle cooler or something like that. It's not the roto molded kind, but it doesn't look like it's built poorly. I'll say that. Um, so we've got the display right here. And after I let it sit for a while, I'll turn this on so we can go through those. Um, it has a pretty firm latch right here that you have to pop open to, to open it up. It has a, a um, little catch right here to stop it from flipping all the way open. There's a desiccant packet inside to keep things dry. And I'm guessing these are the power cables and things like that. So there is a light right here. Um, and this has a little switch on it. So it turns on and off when you open and close it. Uh, there's a little compartment up at the top here. I guess you could put, you know, some dry items in there uh, so they don't, you know, or I guess everything's dry because it's a fridge. I'm so used to a cooler. Uh, you know, there's a compartment. You can put some stuff in here. 
there's um, a little basket in here that you can pull everything out of here with, I guess. Um, and down in the bottom, you can see there's actually two wells right there. And I believe that's so you can put like a wine bottle or something like that in there. Um, this basket does have a little divider that you can use if you want to separate your items. Um, and then right here on the lid, let's see what we've got. Okay, it tells you the recommended setting, uh, the recommended temperature setting for different kinds of foods. So it says like water, drinks, juice, red wine, fruit, vegetables, prepared food, meat, seafood, and quick frozen food. And here it has all the power settings, and here's a wiring diagram should you ever need to uh, fix any of the wiring. So that's actually pretty handy. And then here's your serial number. So, yeah, not bad. I'm, I'm, oh, there's a pretty good, there's a neoprene seal in here uh, to seal it off, so that's good. And uh, it does have non-skid on the bottom. It's got little rubber feet. So it doesn't slide around as easily. That's nothing special though. All right, I'm opening the little box that should have like the power stuff in it. And as I was sitting here, okay, this is good. I was hoping this would be the case um, because I realized that there's no handles on the side. So it looks like the handles are sort of optional and there's a little um, on the side here. You can see there's little uh, caps right here. You can pull those off and you can attach uh, these pretty heavy duty handles onto the side of it. They look pretty straightforward. All the hardware is included. Um, pretty simple. Looks like stainless steel. Yeah, it is stainless steel. So um, solid hardware. Um, it, it, it needs a uh, Torx bit, and there is a little Torx um, tool with it. So you have all the tools you need to install it. Then we have so we have a we have several different cables here. So okay, so I see how it is. So there's a, a nine volt uh, hookup, so you can plug it into your car and charge it uh, through the car cigarette lighter. Um, and they, I guess they didn't want to make extra wires. So this actually, uh, I guess, plugs straight into that. So this plugs into here, or you can plug it straight into your car nine volt. So I'm guessing this regulates it to uh, like a nine volt or a 12 volt output right here and yeah that's what it is so you can plug it into the wall uh, or you can plug this directly into your car okay so so it just turned on and okay so it looks like we got an on off button here and it has max and eco so there's a settings button here so i guess with the eco mode it's gonna uh use very little power um and that's what you would want to set it on when when you're not hooked up to a wall socket okay so i just i hear the uh the fan going so the compressor's going and it's reading 62 degrees fahrenheit i'm guessing and then so it looks like it goes in two degree increments so that's set to zero so it'll get to zero so it'll actually freeze things just so it's going right now let's see how long it takes for it to cool it down all right, so it's been like 35 minutes, and honestly, I'm tired of waiting, and I need to get to work, but it's at 20 degrees. <clears throat> I'm going to turn up the thermostat, and 
I just want to see if it's going to kick off. Hmm, that's interesting. It was just at 20 degrees. And now I turn the thermostat up. And somehow it says it's at 25 now. Okay, so now I just turned it up to 25, which is what it's at, and the, the compressor kicked off. So I'm not sure why it just fluctuated like that. That's weird. Uh, but anyway, so the compressor kicks off. This is the, the set power um, portable fridge. This is the 32 quart. Um, and this is basically a cheap version of uh, what you might find if you get the Dometic. The Dometic's like, I think like $800 to $1,000. This thing you can get on Amazon for $250, bucks, and I paid an extra $50 bucks for a uh, four-year extended warranty on it. And I just got in the Jackery Explorer 500. As you can see, it still has the tag little thing on there. Peel that off. And as you can see, it's been charging and it is at 100%. Uh, now, there's tons of videos about the Jackery, but there really isn't any videos about this fridge. So uh, you can find videos where people test how long the Jackery can uh, keep a fridge like this going, but usually they're using the Dometic. So uh, since I couldn't find any information on it, I figured I would do a quick video to see how long this battery is going to keep this guy going. So we're going to do it real simple. I'm going to unplug the Jackery. Here we have the plug for the fridge. And I have not done this before, so I really don't know what I'm doing. But there we go. So I just push that DC outlet right there. And that means that this is getting power. And we're going to set this to... 41 degrees, um, that's a pretty typical uh, fridge temperature. You can hear the uh, uh, the compressor just kicked on on this, and that's going to keep going down. Uh, we're going to set it, okay, it's already set to eco mode, so this is the mode that uses uh, very little power. So as you can see on here, it's using 29 watts right now, but eventually, once it gets this down to temperature, that's gonna drop down to like one or two watts. Um, after that, I'm hoping it's gonna be able to uh, keep this thing cold for like a couple days. So uh, we're gonna see, and uh, I'm gonna check in every few hours to see how it's doing. As you can see, it's now about 12.30, so it's been um, almost two hours. The uh, Fridge has reached its uh, temperature. It's at like 37 right now. It'll kind of fluctuate up and down around 40. And as you can see on the Jackery, currently it's pulling one watt, so it's in sort of like maintenance mode. Alrighty, it is now almost 8.30 the next morning, so it's been almost 24 hours. And we're at 70% still going strong it is now about 10 30 at night so it's been uh a full 24 hour no sorry um it's been a day and a half and we're at 50 percent so far it's seeming like this particular fridge is going to last just as long on this Jackery 500 as the Dometic does because I believe it was three days. All right, here we are next morning. It is uh, just about nine o'clock. So this is uh, just about two days that it's been running and it is at 36%. All right, it's uh, one o'clock at night. Um, technically into the third day or no, well into the third day so we're at 12% so it's probably gonna die somewhere in the middle of the night 
All right, guys, so I woke up this morning and uh, the jackery had finally died. So uh, last night when I went to bed, it was still going. It was at like 13%, so I'd imagine it died somewhere right before I woke up. So uh, it got really close to doing three full days. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. So <clears throat> is this set power fridge worth it? I'd say, heck yeah, it's like a third of the price and really performs pretty similarly. So uh, pretty happy with that purchase. And uh, in a future video, uh, I'm gonna be using this solar panel, <clears throat> which was another Amazon special. Um, it was $80 by a brand called Rich rich power I don't know, some cheap chinese brand i'm going to use that to charge this back up and see how long it takes with a cheap solar panel so if you're interested in seeing that make sure that you're subscribed and if you want to see any other videos related to camping fishing hunting whatever they're somewhere around here thank you guys for watching catch you guys next time